Hey guys, welcome back to Sleep Help Zone. In this video we'll be talking about snoring, its effects on both your body and your mind, and how you can prevent it. There's lots of people out there who think snoring only happens to overweight people, but this actually isn't true, it can happen to anybody of any age. And while men and those who are overweight are more likely to snore, this does not mean it is exclusive to these groups. And if you're not sure if you're overweight, you can check out the description where you'll find a BMI calculator. If your BMI is over 25, you're categorised as overweight. So let's just dive right in and discuss some of the problems that snoring could cause you in the future if you do not make an attempt to treat it. But before we do, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and hit subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date with our content. So as I've already mentioned, snoring does affect those who are men or those who are overweight more often, but it can happen to anyone. The vast majority of people are likely to experience occasional snoring at some point in their lives, and this is unlikely to cause any real serious problems for them. That is, besides disrupting their sleeping partner's sleeping schedule. But persistent snoring on the other hand is likely to cause some problems for the individual, and not only in terms of their quality of sleep. So let's just go over some reasons why an individual may suffer from persistent snoring. So snoring occurs when the flow of air through someone's nose or mouth is physically obstructed and this can be due to several reasons. The first reason would be someone having physically obstructed nasal airways, in other words their nasal passageways or nostrils are blocked up. This can be due to allergies, for example pollen in the air during spring or summer or animals if you have pets in the room or whatever you are allergic to. But it could also be due to having a deviated septum. This is the wall between your nostrils and it can become crooked or off center if you become injured for example. Another reason is overly relaxed muscles in the tongue or throat. This means that the muscles fall back into the airways and obstruct your breathing which causes snoring. This relaxation of muscles can result from alcohol consumption or the use of some sleeping pills as prescribed by a doctor. This relaxation of muscles naturally occurs as some people get older, which can lead to someone snoring in older age when they might have never done in the past. Smoking can be another reason why the muscles in the tongue or throat become more relaxed than in the general population, which in turn can lead to snoring. Smoking can also lead to inflammation in the airways, which can cause a physical obstruction and in turn snoring. And if any of you are curious why snoring is more prevalent in the overweight population than in the general population, this is due to throat tissue generally being bulkier than in those who are of optimal BMI. This can lead to obstruction of the passageways and, you guessed it, snoring. And the final reason we look at why people snore is due to their sleep posture. Sleeping on your back can lead to the tongue and throat muscles falling back into the airways, which can lead to snoring. And perhaps the most serious follow-on effect from snoring is that of sleep apnea. This is a condition where your breathing becomes disrupted during sleep and can happen up to 100 times in a night. These interruptions can be over 10 seconds long which can deprive your brain of much needed oxygen and put increased pressure on your heart. To replenish your body's supply of oxygen you may intake a large gulp of air after these breathing disruptions. I think it's important to emphasise that the serious issue of sleep apnea can lead on from untreated persistent snoring, so it's important to try and fix this problem if you can. And just to illustrate the seriousness of sleep apnea, here are some health effects that can be caused by it. These include high blood pressure, stroke, heart failure, irregular heartbeats and heart attacks, diabetes, depression, Chronic morning headaches caused by fluctuation of oxygen and carbon dioxide levels in your system. And it also causes light sleep and multiple wakings during the night, which can affect your work performance and your relationships, leading to daytime sleepiness and fatigue. We'll go over sleep apnea further in a later video, but I think it's just important to remember that snoring, something that many people think is relatively benign, can be a precursor to all of these problems. And as I've illustrated, it is for this reason that it is important to make an attempt to stop snoring, so you don't feel these serious negative effects. So finally, let's just discuss some methods you can use to stop or reduce your level of snoring. Firstly, you could try to remove the source of allergens if you suffer from allergies. So if you're allergic to your cats or dogs, it would be a good idea to not sleep with them in the room. It would also be a good idea to keep your window closed if you've hay fever, 
or to maybe give up dairy if you have a dairy allergy. Making attempts to manage your weight can also lead to successful reduction in snoring levels. If you lose weight, your snoring should decrease or disappear, as you will have less of the fatty tissue in the back of your throat. Thirdly, and you might see a pattern developing here if you've watched your other videos, drinking less alcohol can lead to you snoring less or even eradicate snoring altogether. Drinking less alcohol will lead to your tongue and your throat muscles staying firmer at night as you sleep, and therefore your passageways will not become obstructed, leading to less snoring. The use of essential oils, such as peppermint and lavender, can lead to reduction in the amount of snoring you do. These oils can act as decongestants, clearing your airways and leading to less obstruction. And finally, making an attempt to change your sleep posture can lead to less snoring. You should try to sleep on your side instead of on your back. This way, your throat muscles won't be able to move backwards and obstruct your passageway. So in conclusion, snoring is caused when the flow of air through your nose and mouth is physically obstructed. Snoring can lead to the serious issue of sleep apnea, which has a whole host of health issues related to it. And making an attempt to stop snoring can prevent you developing this condition. So you'll want to remove sources of allergens from your bedroom, you'll want to manage your weight, drink less alcohol, try to use essential oils, and try to change your sleeping posture. These are just some ideas of ways you could reduce your snoring. You can use a combination of these or all of these. Obviously, if you're not overweight, weight management mightn't do anything for you. But if you're overweight, obviously this should be considered. Okay, so that wraps up our video on snoring. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit the like button. We'd greatly appreciate it. And hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all of our content. In the description, you'll find a link to our website, which we would love if you checked out. There's also the resources we used in creating this video and a BMI calculator if you want to check if you're overweight or not. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section and we'd also love to hear about how you found the tips we gave you. Thanks for checking out our video and we wish you a good night's sleep.